Hey, welcome friends. Uh, today we're going to go over some quick tips uh, brought to you by Five Star Lawn Care. My name is Riley and I'm the CEO and President at Five Star Lawn Care in Charlotte, North Carolina. Today we're going to be going over uh, another tip for property maintenance. want to make sure that you take care of your AC unit. Okay. The tip for today is how to clean the coils. Make sure that your unit runs efficiently, that you are not wasting money to cool your home. And this should be done at least once annually in the springtime. So without further ado, let's get started. What we're going to do is we're going to clean out these coils right here. First thing you do for safety, of course, is to make sure that you turn off the breaker. Okay. Now, the breaker is going to be right here on this unit. Now we're going to flip this switch boom that way well I'll show you now what we're gonna do is we are going to remove these exterior pieces so we can actually get to the coils and then we're gonna go from there so I've already removed uh, the bolts um, you, well on this unit they're a uh, eight millimeter so you can uh, go ahead and remove those uh, and I would suggest removing those if you have a unit that is not as open as this one is this is a York um, due to the fact that a lot of times grass and dust will get behind there that you cannot really get to unless you pull them off and uh, it takes just a few more minutes and you know definitely want to do the job right so let's uh, let's go ahead and get those taken off and then I'll see you in a second all right guys now you can see that I have removed these exterior panels and you can see the coils now exposed on this AC unit. Now I do want to point out here that when you have a vent that is uh, the dryer vent that comes out near the AC unit you definitely want to keep an eye out um, even more for um, you know build up and whatnot because of the lint blowing out it will get caught up in here. See yesterday um, I had sprayed uh, with a hose, I got most of this uh, this gunk off. It's grass buildup and dust and dirt, which you don't see a lot of now. Now I would recommend you getting a good bit of that off um, before we're going to use a product uh, called Coil Cleaner. Now you can get this at your uh, local uh, big box store. Um, so a lot of times it's just easier just to go on Amazon and order it. I'll put a link in the description, um, but I'll show you how this works. Uh, we're going to make sure you give the can a good shake, mix it up, ensure that your power, your AC, is turned off at the breaker box or however if you want to, if you don't know which breaker it is, turn off all the power. You don't want to end up a fried chicken. You understand what I'm saying? So, all right, safety first. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to just cover it. This is a foaming agent and it's going to foam up. See, I'm just going to cover it like that. Make sure we get into all the crevices. Okay. All right, so after the foaming agent has been sprayed on there, the cleaner, the cool cleaner, um, which by the way, you can use on your air conditioner, your heat pump, your condenser, your evaporator coils. It's safe to use on the drain pan, the fan pretty much the entire unit uh, to clean it up. Uh, once you have sprayed it on there and uh, it's sat on there for a little while, uh, probably f I'd say at least five to 10 minutes to break down um, all that grime and build up and everything, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna come in with a garden hose. Um, you, you definitely don't wanna use a pressure washer or anything crazy like that. You do not wanna damage um, these, these small fins. Let me get a close up here. You don't want to damage these small fins. Now, I don't know if you can see, um, I think you can. You can see through there. And then at other areas, you can almost not even see through there. See, that's all that dirt and grime buildup. Okay? It needs to look more open like this. See how you can see right here? You can see all the way through that. That's gonna be, if you have all your fins this open, that's going to be an efficiently uh, operating unit because the 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 extraction of the heat is is it doesn't need a coat on it. It's like insulated with all this dirt and grime. 
okay where it can't get through so you need to remove that coat if you will that insulation so as the as the hot um, uh, air is dissipated from the house it, it can do so more efficiently saving you money uh, and making things more effectively for you so now that we got this uh, let's go ahead and start spraying it down you can do it with a garden hose um, just don't do, go, go too crazy with too much pressure you're just going to want to just want to come through here and make sure you spray all this down moving all the way around all the way around and i'm going to go ahead and do all this i'm going to pause the video and then i'll come back and i'll show you how cleaned up we got it okay All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, so I use two cans. Uh, it says on the can that you can use one 19 ounce can for um, one large unit. However, that's just simply not the case. It really needs two cans. I would suggest you getting two cans for a unit this size or even getting a third or fourth one. Uh, that way you're ready to go in the spring or fall whenever you do it next. You can do it any time of year, uh, but it's definitely recommended. It's, it's almost like clogged arteries. Uh, it's just not good. Um, when these fins get clogged up, these coils get clogged up, um, they just, the, the unit can't operate efficiently. Uh, it cannot cool your house and remove the heat efficiently when the AC is running. So it's costing you money and efficiency. And that's just not what you want. So guys, I hope this video helped. Uh, a little bit of your property maintenance. Again, Riley with Five Star Lawn Care. Uh, hope to see you again soon. And let me know if you got any questions, any, any tips or advice that you have. Uh, please put them in the comments section. And uh, let's try to get some other guys uh, helped out here uh, with their property maintenance. Would love to uh, hear from you. If you got any questions, please put them in the comments below. Have a great day, guys. God bless. And again, remember, do not end up like a fried chicken.